तिबेट राष्ट्र प्रमुख लॉम्ब संघ संघए आज रोज वडोदरा पारोल यूनिवर्सिटी की मुलाकात ली थी तरह पत्रकार परिषद संबोधित तिबेट न राष्ट्र प्रमुख लॉमसंग संघई पारोल यूनिवर्सिटी में विद्यार्थी साथ तिबेट की परिस्थिति संघर्ष अहिंसा अंगे खास चर्चा विचारणा करती त्यारबाद पत्रकार परिषद में बातचीत करता ज्व्यूत कि चीन तिबेट ने वर्षो थी परेशान कर रु चीन दरक स्थले पग पेसारो करने प्रयास कर रु तिबेट आसपास दस महत्व की नदीओ आ भारत मेट तिबेट भौगोलिक दृष्टि खूबज महत्व अंग है राष्ट्र प्रमुख लॉमसंग संघए वु में ज्व्यूत कि चीन ना कावा दावाओ मामले हम मोटी सरकार हस्तक्षेप करे तम इच्छी रहा है Because he said, if Tibet is occupied by the Chinese army, it will have a permanent security threat to India, and he said we should support Tibetans then, so that we could prevent such, you know, threat in the future. Now, 2,500 to 3,000 kilometers long border, which was between Tibet and India, is now. Border between India and China. In the 1950s, there were hardly any police in the border. Now you have thousands and thousands of Indian military personnel. The Indian government spent billions of dollars to protect the border <coughs> of India with China. So all this money could have been spent on education, could have been spent on poverty alleviation, could have been spent on so many other welfare projects, but it's not still um, being spent. Not just that, because of the Chinese presence in Tibet, that all of South Asia has Chinese influence. Look at from Pakistan to Sri Lanka, Maldives, to some extent Bangladesh, also Nepal. Recently, Nepalese government declared. That they will make Chinese language a compulsory language in all the schools of Nepal, financed by the Chinese government. So Nepal is the only other Hindu country in the whole world after India, but Chinese presence and influence in Nepal is real. So this is what's happening in Tibet. And I also mentioned that Tibet is a source of major rivers for Asia. Ten major rivers of Asia: the Indus River, the Satlas River, the Brahmaputra River, uh, Mekong River, Irrawaddy River, Salween River in the uh, Southeast Asian countries, and uh, Yellow River, the Yangtze River, flowing to China, all flow from Tibet. 1.4 billion people depend on uh, Tibet rivers. So, given the geopolitical importance of Tibet, the environmental importance of Tibet, and the spiritual connection between Tibet and India, you know, uh, Mount Kailash and Mount Sarovar are in Tibet. Now, you need visas for Indian pilgrims to go to Mount Sarovar, Mount Kailash. When Tibet was free, visa was not required. For these reasons, I think Indian government should also say Tibet is one of their core issues. Because China always says Tibet uh, is their core issue, one of their core issues. And Indian government should also say the same thing. And I just want to thank uh, the present government uh, of India and all the past governments who have done the most for Tibetan people. So great privilege to be here in Gujarat, the land of Mahatma Gandhi, where he launched so many movements, which has become a model uh, for country regions around the world. And we follow Ahimsa, we follow Mahatma Gandhi also, and Gandhi has succeeded. And hopefully, our Gandhi, the Soviet dialogue, will also succeed. None by the peaceful. चीनना कारण सुरक्षा में खूबज मुश्किल पड़ी रही है तिबेट में त्रन थी लोग विरोध कर सकता नहीं जेना कारण जंतर मंतर आ विरोध करव पड़े साथ साथ तिबेट राष्ट्र प्रमुख लॉमसंग संघए स्वर्गीय सुषमा स्वराज ने श्रद्धांजलि पाठी थी और शोक की लागण व्यक्त करती 
land of Mahatma Gandhi and land of uh, Sada Balabai Patel and land of uh, Prime Minister Modi ji. Uh, I started my morning with uh, jalebi breakfast, you know, it's a Gujarati dish. And uh, I just came to say that, uh, you know, China says Tibet is one of the core issues and India should also say Tibet is one of the core issues because geopolitically, Tibet is very important for India and Sada Balabai Patel said in 1950s, all the things he said about Tibet, after the occupation of Tibet, if you let China occupy Tibet, India will come under threat from China has become real. And Tibetans, we follow ahimsa and nonviolence taught by, practiced by Mahatma Gandhiji. And we want to see Parampawan Dalai Lama Ji also following Mahatma Gandhiji and Ahimsa succeed like India and we gain basic freedom for Tibetan people in Tibet. That's what I want to say and thank you very much. Sir, what about the 370 crores of Yoga? No, those is internal matter. What about Sushma Swaraj? I already said, yeah. I have had the uh, privilege of meeting uh, former Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj when she was in the parliament. Uh, I had a long interaction and she gave me a lot of advice on how to be leader. At the end, I asked her how come she has such a loud and clear voice. And she told me every evening you must drink hot water with ginger and honey and uh, wrap your throat so that next day you will have such a sweet, loud, powerful voice. And it's very sad to learn that she has passed away. And as you can clearly see, she has friends in all the parties. That shows that she was a great leader and a great human being. Today, Parul University, the Tibetan administration president, Dr. Lobsen Sange, has been in the meeting. Dr. Lobsen Sange, the Parul University, has been in the meeting of the industry. He has been in the meeting of the Tibetan non-violence movement. He has been in the meeting of the Tibetan non-violence movement. He has been in the meeting of the hard work in the life of the Tibetan non-violence. डॉक्टर लॉबसन सांग के भारत में पुतानों शिक्षण में डूचे ग्रेजुएशन सुधीर उन्हें पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन दे वो हार्डवर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी में करेलू चे पीएचडी भी हार्डवर्ड में करेलू चे अने हाल तिब्बत नी स्वतंत्रता अने ऑटोनोमस स्टेट नो स्ट्रेचर मरे ते मारे ते लड़ाई आपी रहा चे अने अहिंसा अने हार्